Yo, what's up guys, it's CDMG, and in this video, we're gonna be comparing the FPS Strike Pack and the back button attachment. Whoa. And before I begin this video, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button and like button if you love gaming like I do. Let's go. Uh, so the first thing we're gonna talk about is price. FPS Strike Pack, 40 bucks. Back button attachment, 30 bucks. Compared to Scuff Controller, you're saving 150, 150 to 200 dollars. And they all do the same thing. More buttons. Um, next thing we're going to talk about is build quality. So, FPS Strike Pack feels hollow. It, got this, it has this hinge right here that goes back and forth. Um, paddles. I mean, they, I'm not going to lie. They feel kind of cheap. Um, Coolest thing about this though is that it has magnets for the paddles, so you can push as hard as you want. You can pull it. You can break these paddles, buy a new one for five bucks. But honestly, I've been having this for five, five. I was gonna say five years, one year, no issues at all. And I'm pulling really hard. It may look cheap, sound cheap, works perfectly. And then the PS4 back button attachment, high quality plastic. I'm trying to bend this. It's not snapping. Sounds really clicky. Um, only thing that may be an issue in the future is it has this swivel headphone jack. Other than that, high quality plastic baby. <laughs> um, and then next thing we're going to talk about is the installation. So installing, uh, we'll go with the FPS Strike Pack first. So here's your PS4 controller, FPS Strike Pack, micro USB port, micro USB at the top of this. You're just going to slide it right in, and then you're going to close it with the hinge. And it snaps right in. That easy. Plug up USB um, to this, to the PS4, and you're good to go. That's super easy. And to set up your buttons, what this is so easy. You press, there's two buttons on the back right here. You press, like, whatever pedal you want, right? Because there's one on each of them. You press that, then you press the button on, on the PS4 controller, and you're good. And that's how you set it. Press X for my jump. And then, so, press on the back, right here. Press X on the controller. And it's already set. Same thing with the other side. I have it for my melee, so I press the bu back button. Setup button. I press circle. And there you go. So this is my jump, and this is my melee. Super easy to install. Next is the back button attachment. Um, so a lot of videos are saying that it's super hard to, to install and scared to put it on. Don't be. All you gotta do is follow what I do. You wanna align the headphone jack with the um, with the port, headphone jack port. You're gonna slide it right in, and then once you feel like it's in, you're gonna push back on the. You're gonna push the back button towards the controller, and you're gonna push up at the same time. So you can, yeah. So check it out. So I'm pushing hard right here, like this. So I'm pushing in like that. And you're pushing up at the same time with your thumb. Oh. And it slides right in. There you go. Don't be scared. It's, it's not going to break. Jumping. Melee. Jumping. Melee. And no issues at all. There you go. And the next thing we're going to talk about is going to be... Where is it at? Oh, here's. How comfortable is it? So, I'll go with the. I'm, I'm going to talk about this first. Um, so while using the back button attachment, it my middle fingers do rest on the uh, the paddles or triggers or the buttons. I'm sorry. The thing though is that when I'm playing with this, because you naturally when you hold the controller, you're you're. Um, yeah, fingers on the back, and then you use your thumbs to push down on the front buttons, right? In this case, what happens is when I'm pressing down on L3, what happens is I accidentally, 80% of the time, jump. So when I'm trying to run, I accidentally jump. And same thing with my melee. When I'm trying to slide, I accidentally push the melee like that. Like, let me see if I can... Of course, I'm trying to show you what happens, but... You get, you get the idea. I'm trying to run because I press L3 down, but I accidentally jump. And using the using the paddles, it kind of forces me to like tilt the controller 
four for some reason. So I mean, as, as far as comfortability, for me using the paddles, I mean, maybe it might take some time to get used to, but using it for about like what a couple days now, uh, it's like a, like a, like a C plus, you know, like a B B minus to me. Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, to me, unless you're, if you like it, cool. Look, to me, it's like a, a B plus. No, sorry, a C plus C minus. All right, so let's uh, talk about the other one now. Let me take these off. So the FPS strike pack. The really cool thing about this, when using it, um, is that the paddles, instead of pushing back on the back, it's on the side of the controller, on the bottom side. So like you can press it by itself while it's laying down. So you don't have to worry about the issues like I'm having um, on the FPS, FPS, on the PS4 back button attachments. No issues at all. I, I prefer this still. Uh, I know it's where, oh my God. Oh, if you're wondering, I'm playing bots right now. Just practice. But no issues at all. So I'll give this a 10. It's more comfortable for me to play. And I don't feel like I'm leaning the controller forward. Like for some reason, on the PS4 back button attachment, I feel like I have to roll my hand forward. I don't know. Maybe I'm just thinking too hard about it. But this is A plus for me. A plus. I love it a lot. E, super easy to use. Not uncomfortable at all. Um, and the last thing we're going to talk about is... Is it worth it? So... If you can't play Claw, um, and you're looking for a, a alternative um, for a scuff, th these would be it. Um, Thirty bucks, forty bucks, you can't beat the price unless you're balling like crazy. Um, you just can't beat it. And I know that the PS4 button attachment, back button attachment, they are from the leaks that I've seen online. They are making um, back button attachments on the PS5 controller. So maybe it's, they're just getting people ready, but hopefully they they change the way it fits in your hand, or because to me it's, it doesn't feel comfortable. Um, but yeah, if you have the money, get the scuff. Which actually, even if you have the money, I still don't recommend it because they break easy, and then you gotta wait for customer care to send you another one. You gotta ship yours back. Takes like a month. Not worth it. Um, you can buy these anywhere: Target, GameStop, Best Buy. I love Best Buy. Oh my god. Uh, but yeah, um, if I were to choose one though, I would stick with the FPS Strike Pack. It just feels the most comfortable to me. Uh, no issues at all. Um, installation, probably like three seconds faster, two seconds faster. Uh, but yeah, guys. So I recommend this over this. I do. I mean, it's it's wired versus wireless, but if you're you're sitting in front of your PS4 anyways. So hope you guys like this quick video of comparing the two controllers. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know at the bottom. This is CDMG. Y'all have a good day. Peace. Hit that subscribe button, and like button though. Later.